Litterbug Doug, a Michael Recycle Adventure, written by Ellie Bethel. In a beautiful valley in the shade of a hill was a clean little town that was full of goodwill. But the quaint little town had a problem to face, for on top of the hill stood a mountain of waste. And who was the culprit? Who was the thug? It was lonely and lazy-boned Litterbug Doug. His house was a rubbish dump, full of old stuff, that was rotting and mouldy and smelly enough to make your eyes water. The pong was so strong, but Doug didn't think he'd done anything wrong. And his only real friends were a hundred odd rats, except for two lazy and fat tabby cats. From alone on his throne, Doug thoughtlessly threw all manner of litter, and so the pile grew. A rotting banana, some mouldy old cheese, faulty fridge freezers and smashed up TVs, a table, a tandem, an old three-pea suite, all kinds of old rubbish was hurled on the heap. And then, to the joy of the hundred-odd rats, Doug even got rid of his two tabby cats. The cats were so fat, and they made the dump fall. And down came the rubbish heap, rats, cats and all. But then something happened that none could explain. It wasn't a bird and it wasn't a plane. A green-caped crusader stupendously swooped, descending to earth with a great loop-the-loop. Litterbug Doug, said our green hero Michael. Littering's rubbish. You've got to recycle. But Doug just retorted, I won't make amends. I don't need these people. The rats are my friends. But, Doug, don't you care that the litter you've hurled is rotting and reeking, polluting our world? It's hard to believe, but I guess it depends. Do you really want rats and not people as friends? Then thinking aloud, Doug said, I suppose. They do give me fleas and they nibble my toes. They make quite a racket. Their hygiene's not great. I'd love some real friends, but is it too late? Of course not, said Michael. With all hands on deck, we can work hard together to save you just yet. They formed a big chain from Doug's dump to Michael to sort out the rubbish and what to recycle. And soon all the town was so neat and pristine. The only thing left to do was give Doug a clean. So now he was neater and no longer smelled. They gave him a job at which he excelled. So watch out, don't litter or drop one small piece. Doug's there in a flash. He's the litter police.